Hello and welcome to the Battlefield Top Play. Starting us out today is Sephir with one of the most impressive tank versus jet shots I've ever seen on Battlefield 4. Look at the absolute range this guy manages to get with what I can only say is an incredible only in Battlefield moment. He also sent in another one which is potentially even better. <laughs> Next up we have Corsair and of course some Battlefield 3. This episode is going to include both Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3, the two games that really keep me interested in Battlefield at the moment. This one is an across the map RPG. LIC Ghost is next, and this is going to be a bit of running and gunning. I do enjoy these infantry plays on Battlefield 3. It just showcases how good the infantry gameplay was, even though the netcode was a bit of a mess, and things weren't as good as maybe they could have been. The AN-94 was a fan favourite. If you could get that burst down, you could be an absolute wrecking machine especially in these close quarters situations where enemies are all around you, but you also have the ability to take down players at longer ranges too. A very skill-based weapon, I think. An awesome clip though, a lot of kills, and then some very good objective play at the same time. The perfect clip. Victor Petrus is next up, and this is going to be on Battlefield 3. Damavan Peak dropping in, scout helicopter in front of him, and he takes it out with his C4. He also sent in a long range sniping clip. Check out the range he gets on the second shot as he uses the first one to get his eye in. Moving on to a bit of Battlefield 4, we've got Ruby Eyes on the jet ski, spots an attack helicopter in the distance and takes it out first time with the small. I've got eyes on an enemy LHP, north of your position. Objective Alpha has just been neutralized. Monster Man 232 is again on Siege of Shanghai in the attack helicopter, and I don't usually include attack helicopter clips on Shanghai, but this one is an epic takedown of the enemy chopper. He fires the toe just then. I don't know if he means it, but he actually takes out the enemy attack chopper in the distance too, with an incredible double heli kill. Next up, we've got a couple of clips sent in from Lonely Toe, and they are very impressive indeed. I'll let the first one play, as you can tell. It's a bit of a bug on Battlefield 4, I believe, on Goldwood Railway, this one, and he manages to take down an enemy plane. The rest of them are purely only in Battlefield moments. Yeah. 
As if that wasn't enough from Lonely Toe, Big E, potentially the best sniper in Battlefield, sent in a whole load of clips, and I'm gonna let these ones play in the background as well. They're all sniping clips, and they're all absolutely insane. The score streaks, the collaterals, the trick shots, absolutely everything is just unbelievable. And I can't believe he sent these all in at once as well. The guy is an absolute beast. It's about two minutes, of insane Battlefield 3 sniping clips. Enjoy. Moving on to Battlefield 4, Operation Locker is Dark Fear. He's just dropped in to a game. This is exactly how you want to be starting. He's got the PDWR running underneath Charlie, or at least towards it, trying to get that capped. It's the first thing he'll want to do. They've got Alpha and Bravo, they need Charlie, Delta, and then pushing the enemy eventually back to Echo. Pushing up towards Charlie, there's no enemies here, so they must all be between Charlie and Delta, and he gets a massive point streak.
Sugar Maester's next with two very entertaining Battlefield 4 clips. The first is a really satisfying long range shrew. The second is with the LAV on Hainan Resort. Again, a very awesome long range tow missile. Bye bye. <gasps> Divers hacked. <laughs> Finishing off today, we have an infantry streak from Scream. This guy has sent in so many Battlefield 3 clips over the years, and he's one of the best players who actually still plays Battlefield 3 today. Damavan Peak is one of his favourite maps. I'm pretty certain this is most people's favourite map, unless you're a Metro fan. There are a couple of other maps that I really think are fantastic, but Damavan Peak is the one that is always running on Battlefield 3 when I go back and jump on to play a bit of Rush, or maybe even a little bit of Conquest. This is, of course, a Rush defence a kit switch streak as he runs out of bullets with his AK, has to switch out to something else, but manages to make it work with a whole load of kills and an absolutely incredible kill streak. Thanks for watching this episode of The Top Plays. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. Let me know which clip was your favorite. And remember to send your clips in to battlefieldtopplays at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.